decided to do it early in the morning. <laughs> Let's see. Roland starts, Seth Rollins starts off raw, and he has pretty much, he's pretty much talking about what he did to Brock Lesnar at Super Showdown. And saying that if anybody else wants a chance at this title, then, or you want to do the hard way, ask Brock, because you're not getting it from him. And Barry Corbin comes out, he's pretty much saying that he's going to take the title away from him at Stomping Grounds. Because, because he yelled at the ref. The entire time, there's a ref. Heard this was Barry Corbin's crap and got up in Corbin's face, and then that's caused Seth Rollins to do the video roll up to him. Yeah. And then Rollins is like, You have no friends. Who are you going to pick up to be a ref? No, uh, Corbin said that he's having his rematch, but he wants a special guest referee. Yeah. But he gets to pick him. And then Sam Zane comes out, and he pretty much is saying that it should be Corbin. Corbin probably a better champion than Rollins, because there won't be a uh, toxic toxic thing with uh, Lesnar, because he says Lesnar, uh, Lesnar and Rollins are obsessed with each other, going to be back and forth, back and forth. So then, Sam Zane says, tonight for the main event, when those two, when when, uh, for the main event, he'll be a side referee. Well, he said that to, uh, Shane McMahon later tonight. Yeah. Um, Corbin, and then he was saying, um, if, like, if I help Corbin, Corbin might do it in return, and then Ron's like, yeah, see? See, you got the biggest idiot in town, and that's all you have on your side, Corbin. And then that's when Ron... Uh, Kevin Owens comes out and he's like, Don't talk to my best friend like that! And I want to do something about it now. Ron goes, Oh, okay, do you want to see Owens versus Rollins tonight? And he accepts, so. That's, that's the main event. That's for the night. And then Sam goes to Shane McMahon and he asks, he tells him, he doesn't think that Rollins is going to play fair, so for tonight, yeah. Sami Zayn's gonna be side referee. Yeah, like on the outside, like put things down the middle. Basically, he's gonna um, double check, make sure that the ref doesn't screw up. Yeah. And then it's um, a three on one elimination match with Lars Sullivan and the Lucha House Party. Because the last, because uh, uh, Super Showdown, the Lucha House Party disqualified themselves when they attacked Lars Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just a definite winner. But Lars Sullivan ends up winning. He he takes out Kalisto first, then he's on Lutz Dorado, and then he did like a running power something looking thing. And then he, now he's on Grand Metalik, the last one. And he's beating him, he does the finisher, but he goes, I'm not done yet. And he goes to Kalisto, slams him into the steel steps really hard. Then he goes back to Grand Mendeley, does a finisher on him, but he's not done yet. He still doesn't want to pin him. Then he goes to Liz Dorado and does a move on him. Then he goes up on the top rope, headbutts to Grand Mendeley, and wins that one. Oof, he just wants to mess, like... Demolish. Yeah. And then R-Truth and Carmella, they, and everybody, like, ET3. Slater. UCG, Slater, um, Cedric Alexander. They all get stuck in an elevator. <laughs> yeah, and they all start trying to be all buddy buddies until the yeah. door finally opens. And it's an all out brawl because everybody else is waiting outside with the referee. Yeah. And then there was a Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans interview. They're, pre they're just pretty much saying who's going to win at Stomping Grounds. Saying Lady, I'm gonna give you a woman man, whatever. And Becky's gonna stomp her face, whatever. I hope Becky, he's probably gonna say Lacey. Mm. But we saw Becky talking with Rollins. Yeah, before that, they were he was talking with Rollins. Now, is this an actual official they're dating, or is this just a storyline no, thing? They're dating. They're literally dating. Um. 
And then you have Lux Bless and Nikki Cross. We think that Lux Bless is manipulating. That's what Bless does. 100%. She's like, saying nobody likes her. Nobody likes her. That's just manipulation. Yeah, and she's like, will you forgive me and be in my corner tonight? And she's hugging and like, yeah. And then you got Miss TV. Spent the guesses, Samoa Joe. They're pretty much talking. Miss, uh, Miss goes out and says, that way. Samoa Joe did to Rey Mysterio wasn't right, even though that Rey gave Joe back the title because of due to injury, but Joe goes and gives him the Coquina Clutch, and not only that, but he puts Dominique involved, and Miz as a father says, that's a line you don't cross, so Miz wants to fight, uh, wanted to fight, uh, wants to fight Samoa Joe, then Braun Strowman comes out, and he wants to uh, wants to fight. Yep. Then Bobby Lashley Actually. wants to come out. Then Ricochet is like, uh, he's like, I think I deserve to fight, uh, deserve a championship match. And then Cesaro comes and sucker punches him, and it ends up being a six-man tag. Mm-hmm. So Miz, Braun, Ricochet versus Joe Lashley and Cesaro. The Miz, Braun, Strowman, and Ricochet ends up winning. Ricochet gets the win for them because let's see. Braun Str- last at the end, towards the end of the match, Braun Strowman, he's chasing after uh, Samoa Joe because Samoa Joe is like, I'm out. I don't want to finish this match. I'm taking my time to leave it. So he's going after Samoa Joe and then spear or something by Lashley to Braun Strowman. And then Ricochet, he's running. He hops over the Miz, lands on Lashley. And then... Miz, he's battling it with Cesaro. Uh, Cesaro's getting some moves on him. And then, but, Miz counters and does a school crusher finale. Tags in Ricochet. Ricochet does the 630 splash. And that's how they win. <sighs> and now we got the woman match. Bailey. And Becky Lynch versus Lux Plus and Lacey Evans. It's pretty much a champion versus challenger match. Since, because Lux of Bliss is a, is a wild card superstar, so that's why, she, even though she's on Raw, she gets to go against SmackDown. It's a wild card thing. And they both won. Yeah, Lux of Bliss and Lacey Evans actually won. Lacey did the, uh, the win on Bailey. You mean the woman's right? Yeah. She the did punch? The, she, um, she woman rights on Bailey. Nick will in the begin at the toward the end, like on the outside, Nikki Nikki Cross got in the way when Becky was trying to run to Lacey Evans. She stopped. And then Nikki got out of the way and woman rights to Becky Lynch. And then Alexa, uh, Alexa Bliss. Uh Lizzie Evans tagged herself in, Alexa Bliss got out of the way and Oh my gosh, there's like instead of woman rights on Bailey. So now, uh, Lacey Evans has a title shot. She Bailey. technically gets a title shot since she's been the champion. Yeah, so she gets to go straight down. Yeah. And there was a thing with Paul Heyman. And now they're just, he's just pretty much saying now that he's not going to let anybody know. When they're going to catch him. Because the Rollins better watch out now. He's, they're more angry now than ever. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much is what he's saying. Uh, and then you got the, the Iconics. Iconics. <laughs> it's pretty much, they're like, we found these two, this tag team that's supposed to be the best tag team in this whatever. Uh-huh. I just say local talent. That's what it is, local talent. But they're just saying. And the Iconics just win. There you go. Yeah, they win. They're like, they're never going to get these titles. And they end up winning anyway. That's all they do. Come on. You want to go get the real tacky. Then Shane McMahon has uh, this um, celebration thing because he beat Roman Reigns, and Drew McIntyre comes out, and they're both kind of wearing the same jacket. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty much celebrating what they win, saying Roman Reigns, Drew 
saying he's going to beat Roman Reigns at Stomping Grounds. He's going to demolish him. He's going to break him. And then they celebrate. They freaking drink in the ship. I think it's champagne. Yeah, champagne. And it pours champagne and Shane's drinking out of his cup. You know, he's drinking out of his best in the world uh, title. Yeah. And then, the like, the, the, the uh, new coming, probably, Raw Tag Team Champions come out. We're live. Only Revival is about to drink something. Like, no, 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 you can't drink yet. You have a tag team match coming up. And if you if you win and bring some gold, you get to join us. You can join. So it's a... For, it's a triple threat tag team for the Raw Tag Team titles. It's the Revival. There's the Usos, there's Hopkins, uh, Hopkins and Ryder. The Revival won. The Revival actually won. They're the new Raw Tag Team, Raw Tag Team Champions. Um, but like, Jey Uso, he was super kicking everybody um, in the ring. And then, um, he re first he, re he, did, he super card Ryder, then Hawkins and Dash, and then he super kicked Ryder again. Then he was going to go on the top row. Scott, Scott from the Revival, tagged the Uso right when the Uso did the um, frog splash and he got in the ring, got him out of the way and picked. So yeah. technically he stole the victory. Yeah, and then the, the other, and then when the Uso tried to get uh, stop it, his partner was gra uh, grabbed his foot so kept him from getting all the way in the ring. Yep. Now we got, oh boy. Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse. He took Let's see. He took a ballot to the bu the bunny character, oh, God, bashed his brains in, and then uh, then licked the juices from the uh, from the bunny puppet's brain. Uh, there's uh, some people are saying this is the best little promo things that Bray Wyatt's done. Yeah, there's people out there saying this is the best thing. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think about the Firefly Funhouse? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> then main event, Seth Rollins vs. Kevin Owens with your stupid special ref outside, Sami Zayn. Ends up being a DQ. Because here's the thing. Kevin Owens wins over DQ. Yeah, because here's the thing. Rollins does his, his uh, finishing move, pins um, Kevin Owens, and then Sami Zayn pulls the ref out of the ring. Yeah. As the ref is counting to three. Rollins gets in front uh, in front of um Sami Zayn's face saying that you're not act you're not an official. You're not an official. Sami Zayn saying, Yeah yeah we're in the shit we're in the shit Rollins puts his hands on um Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn call, uh calls for a disqualification. Yep. And then Rollins goes fuck uh, goes all ham ballistic Beats yep. the crap out of Sami Zayn, beats him with a chair, yep. and then kept Bron and then uh, Corbin, comes yeah, in. Corbin shows up. He's what looking, and then Rollins just beats the crap out of Sami Zayn the entire time with the chair, and then throws him out of the ring, and throws him back in, does the stomp. There you go. Yeah, Corbin's looking on, and he's like, "This is what you're in for, Corbin. I said it. I said that whoever goes with the title is going to deal with." You want it the hard way, then you're gonna get the hard way. I like at the end when they finally got the uh, elevator open, and then that's what I said. We already said that earlier. That was still funny though. Imagine if someone like farted in the elevator. They did. I think it's Carmella that did, and she blames it on our truth. But that was um Monday Night Raw. What did you thought of this week? Monday Night Raw. Yeah. You, like it was all right. I thought about it, but let us know what you thought. What was your favorite match or, two, or whatever? Look forward to SmackDown tonight. So, yeah, so yeah, let us know. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.